Hey, this is Mr. Ward, and this is the pre-algebra do now uh, video key 25.1. Uh, so here we go. Uh, these are uh, images, x-ray tomography, I believe, uh, mapping out the possible arrangements that a single electron might, uh, zones in a single electron of a hydrogen atom might zoom around depending on how energized it is. This is the regular state. But if you zap it with a bunch of energy, it can do all kinds of crazy things. And we learn a lot about the structure of the atom. However, 9.5% of a human being's mass is hydrogen atoms. I personally have a mass of 1.15 times 10 to the second kilograms. A single hydrogen atom has a mass of 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. So about how many hydrogen atoms are there in me? We're going to want to use calculators for any calculations involving the coefficients. So I'm going to start off with the information we have. So we know that we got my mass, and we want to find out how many of this smaller mass thing are in that. That's a division problem. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to divide my mass by the mass of a hydrogen atom. And I'm going to start off by grouping the coefficients. So the coefficients will be 1.15 divided by 1.67. And then I'm going to group the powers, 10 to the second, divided by 10 to the negative 27th. Now, of course, I told you to please do the operation with the coefficients using a calculator because I would like to go quickly, and the point of scientific notation is to be able to do quick calculations, and a calculator is fine to use for calculations like this. In most actual applications, that will be the case. So let's do that. I do 1.15 divided by 1.67. I get this number, 0 0.68, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to end up rounding that to about here. So I'm going to call that 0.689. Okay, so that's going to be equal to 0 0.689, rounded, of course, times, and I'm going to have 10 to the 2 to the second over 10 to the negative 27th. That means I'm going to subtract. I'm going to do my powers. 2 minus negative 27. So to the 2 minus negative 27. And that's, of course, the same as 2 plus the 20, plus 27. So I'm going to have 0 0.689 times 10 to the 29th power. That's a whole lot of hydrogen atoms. But I'm not in scientific notation yet. I need to make 0.689 10 times bigger. So 6.89 times 10 to the, oh, I made that 10 times bigger. So I'm going to make that 10 times smaller. So 6.89 times 10 to the 28th hydrogen atoms in Mr. Ward approximately. Because I did round. And... I also had rounded my weight as well, or my mass as well. So it's okay, and I rounded the 1.67. So this is a close enough number for what we are doing <clears throat> in this situation. Now, furthermore, we can look at the Earth. Now, I, I've, I've upgraded the mass of the Earth based on uh, some more up-to-date data, 5.98 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. 30.1% of the Earth's mass is oxygen. A typical oxygen atom has a mass of 2.66 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. How many oxygen atoms are there in the Earth? Well, first, we got to de deal with this, 30.1% of the Earth. So let's start off with that equation. So 30.1 uh, is going to be uh, 0.301. Okay, 30.1% times 5.98 times 10 to the 24th. Okay, and I'm going to have to divide that, <clears throat> be dividing that by the mass of an oxygen atom. So let's go back and get the mass of an oxygen atom. 2.66 times 10 to the negative 26th kilograms. So I'm going to go put that in here as well. And it's all, of course, going to be in kilograms. So I'm just going to put that kilograms at the end. Uh, actually, no, it's not, because I'm actually trying to find out how many. So this is going to be in kilograms, and kilograms will just cancel out. So copy the, oops, I need to 
do that, so that, and that. So I'm going to cancel out kilograms because we just were looking, kilograms over kilograms is one, so we can just worry about the numbers. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all the coefficients. Now, I'm going to treat 0.301 as a coefficient, so that's going to be 0.301 times 5.98. And that's going to be divided by 2.66. And then over here, I will deal with the powers 10 to the 24th divided by 10 to the negative 26. I'll group that as well. So as I have said, use a calculator for the coefficients, please. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go up here and do that calculation. <clears throat> and I get... 0.67668, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to round that to 0.677 because that's really what you want to do. So that's going to be 0 0.677 times, and I'm going to say 10 to the 24 minus 26 power to the 24 minus negative 26 power. And that's going to end up being 0 0.677 times 10 to the 50th power. I'm not quite done. I've got to adjust that, that coefficient to be 10 times bigger, 6.77 times 10 to the 10 times smaller power of 10, 10 to the 49th oxygen atoms in the Earth, approximately. <clears throat> okay. Now, light travels three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. There are 3.154 times 10 to the seventh seconds in a year. Given that the distance of light, um, sorry, the distance equals speed times time, uh, and a light year is how far light travels in a year, how many meters are there across our galaxy? Our galaxy is 5.3 times 10 to the fourth light years wide. So what we need to do is we need to multiply light speed times the number of seconds in a year, times the number of light years in the Milky Way, across the Milky Way galaxy. So that's going to be 3 uh, times 10 to the 8th meters. And that's going to, I'll put that in parentheses here. So this is all multiplication, times 3.154 times, times 10 to the 7th. And that's going to be times 5.3 times 10 to the fourth power. So let's group things. We'll group our, our coefficients. So 3 times 3.154 uh, times 5.3. And yes, I did indeed round the coefficient for the speed of light. Uh, then I'm going to group my powers 10 to the eighth times. 10 to the 7th times 10 to the 4th. Okay, so we will do the calculation for the coefficients first. Use a calculator, um, and I get 50.1486. Um, <clears throat> so, oops, wrong one. So I get... 50.1486. Okay, now I'm going, and I didn't round that because it was multiplication and it wasn't like a going on forever kind of decimal. And uh, then I'm going to now multiply that times 10 to the, in parentheses, 8 plus 7 plus 4 power. That's 50.14. 8, 6 times 10 to the, okay, that's 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 4 is 19, 10 to the 19th power. Um, and then finally, I need to make this in coefficient into scientific notation form. So 5.01486, and I really would end up rounding this to about here. So we can actually round there. And the reason I'm doing that is I really, honestly, I ought to round to 5.0 because um, I, my least precise 
coefficient is 5.3. Really, I could even go down to 5, but we'll, we'll just do this. So I'm going to round to there. Okay. Right there. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave it there so you can see it, and then I will round times 10. So I made that 10 times smaller, so I'm going to make this 10 times bigger, and that's meters. Okay. And I would round it to about 5.0 times 10 to the 20th meters across the Milky Way galaxy. And that is that. I hope that was helpful.